Yo, welcome back everyone. Today I'll be starting a new series uh, of the split mod. Uh, this mod adds over 700 new items, including bosses, monsters, and weapons. So I am very excited to play this mod and explore it all. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so right off the bat, got this item called anti-buff. Use to toggle anti-buff mode. During anti-buff mode, you're immune to all buffs, not debuffs. Buffs without duration display are not disabled. Bosses and mini bosses may drop permanent boosting items. Their effects would work only if mode is on. I think I might just leave this out for now, but we might enable it later on into the game. All right, I guess we can start off by chopping down some trees for some wood. So yeah, like I said, new bosses, um, the spirit, what else? one shot and menace for the pre-hard mode so we'll figure out how to summon them later on but for now i guess i'll just do the usual i'll do like i'll, I'll progress how i usually progress while playing this game okay i gotta kill this vulture because i do want to make some cactus items there we go all right we got a hundred cactus oh okay i've got the spiked climbing claws Pretty good. What else? Uh, throwing knives, why not? Don't really have a ranged weapon at the moment, so that will be very useful. All right, let's make some cactus armor just for a bit of defense. And let's make a cactus sword. All right, there we go. We have a pretty good uh, starter weapon at the moment. Way better than our short sword. All right, I think I'm gonna explore down here first. Oh, what is that? That's new. Why do I feel like it's going to explode on me? Please don't. I literally called it too. I'm pretty sure those are like skulls too. Oh, what? What am I doing? What am I doing? What is that? Cave Imp? That is so cool. It leaves fire on the ground when it walks. Ooh, okay, there's a chest there. Oh, I'm dead. Never mind. There's also a hobgoblin, which is new. See the glowing red eyes, that's creepy. Okay. All right, we are back. This time all the monsters are gone. Let's see what we have. Okay, we'll take that. And we'll take the extractinator. No. No way that happened. <laughs> okay, well, at least there's a life crystal there. Alright, I think before I go down again, um, I'm going to build a small house. And now that I think about it, this is going to be like my first house. That I've, that I've actually built in such a long time because usually I would just build like those prison cells for the NPCs and call it a day. But for this series, um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually build a nice looking house and I'm going to sort my inventory so it's not messy. All right, this will do for now. I know it's not the prettiest of houses, but um, it'll keep me safe. Ooh, is that diamond? Ooh, okay. We've got, um... 16 diamonds. We can make a diamond hook already. Nice. <coughs> Whoa. Wait, the music changed and the background changed. What? Hold on, what is this? I'm gonna go back down. No! No! What's happening? Okay, we found a new biome. Look at that. There's like lava erupting. What was that? <coughs> Wait, what? Rebellious Wisp? Oh my. I'm dead. We got Ether. And a Hemostone? What is that? And let's start smelting some bars or some ores. 
What the? We got a knocker and he's holding a door. We can make a wooden racket. Summons a ball that can be tossed. Ooh, we can make the platinum claymore. 21 damage. Okay, let's make the diamond hook first. Oh, I could. Oh, I needed three diamonds. No. Alright, that's fine. We'll, we'll just have to find some more. So for now, we'll uh, we'll stick with this wooden racket. Ooh, that is... Wait, it goes through walls? Alright, let's test this bad boy out. Okay, it's not bad. It has auto swing, so that's good. Are you kidding me? Right when I got back down. Oh my decaying. Okay, I I assume I'm not meant to be close to that thing when it dies. Oh Who's that? Can I talk to you? Oh, it's an NPC! Wait, I got a low-tech remote? Sends a signal into the unknown. Can only be used at night. I assume it's like a boss, maybe? Golden buck met? Five gold, though. I do not have that. Suspicious looking jawbone. Doubles the spawn rate and maximum, and maximum amount of both enemies and critters. That could be useful for farming, but at the stage I am right now, it's not that useful. Primordial ebon stone. Minion attacks have a chance to inflict confusion on enemies. Five gold as well. Kind of expensive, this shop. And then garlic. 28 ranged damage. It's consumable. And it's 25 silver each. We'll, we'll just buy one and see what it does. Okay, well. Alright, we have 11 bombs, so let's try to break at least two shadow orbs. Alright, got the musket. No, I summoned by accident. No, 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 no. Yep, okay. I did not mean to break both of them. Oh my god. It's okay, we got the ball of hurt. Ball of hurt. The meteorite has landed. Okay, perfect. What's that? Spotter? Okay. It only dropped a rotten... Oh. God damn it. Ugh. Oh, there's the meteorite. Nice. Alright, got 300 of them. That's plenty. Alright, let's make some meteorite bars. Oh, 99. Then let's make the meteorite armor sets. Wait, that's kind of, that's new. I just realized. Shiny meteorite helmet illuminates the area around, and plated meteor suit plus four defense. That is new. Then we can make the space gun, and then um, the hammocks, I guess. All right, we're gonna go into the jungle now. See if we can find like Hermes boots or something. Okay, we got the Feral Claws. Some Splunker Potions, very nice. Okay, and we got another Magic Mirror, and... Recollect the armor with this item in hand to grant it a random prefix. Armor Polishing Kit. Okay. So it's just like this, I assume. Like, uh, the plated one or the shiny one. Okay, we got Anklet of the Wind. Another Suspicious Looking Eye and Gravitation Potion. Wonderful. Now we can visit a Sky Island, or multiple Sky Islands, and see if there's anything new up there. Ooh, nice. Hermes Boots. Just what I needed. Okay. We can go fight um, the Eye of Cthulhu now, and then whatever this thing is, the low-tech remotes. Okay, the same NPC spawned again. I'll buy one more of this low-tech remote, just in case if I fail this fight, I'll have another one, you know? What is this? Honey. A new mob. Ow. Okay, we have eight gold now. Let's sell the recall potions. There we go. Golden dynamite creates an even bigger cross-shaped explosion. Okay. Let's test it out. Yeet. 
Am I dead here? Oh. Holy crap. Okay, that's huge. What's that? Um. That is a thick boulder indeed. Alright, it is currently nighttime. Just gonna build a quick platform and then we'll summon um, the yeah, Cthulhu. Actually, you know what? Let's use the low tech remote first. Alright, three, two, one. Connecting, please stay on the line. <coughs> oh, what's this? A spirit. B spirit. Oh my god, hold on. Oh, no. Wait, this is sick. Okay, I'm dead. Oh. No, it's daytime. Okay, well, that was pretty sick, though. That was pretty sick. Did we get back our low-tech remote? Huh. I guess we did. Okay. At least I didn't waste it. Alright, let's go explore some sky islands now. There we go. Here's one. Shiny red balloon. Okay, we'll take that. And we got this Star Fury. Okay. Alright, while we wait for nighttime, uh, might as well just make some houses. Alright. Uh, how many is that? Seven should be good enough. Alright, should be uh, nighttime now. Uh, let's drink some potions. Uh, and you know what? Let's do the Eye of Cthulhu first. Just so we can get the Shield of Cthulhu. Should be dead pretty soon. Oh my god. There we go. Now let's go fight the uh the spirits. And with the dash, it should be easier to dodge these uh, blades. This is so sick. Oh god. Okay, that was not good. Oh my god. Doing it again. Fire this time, yep. And again, what is this? Purple. Swords, okay. What's it doing? Second phase? Oh yeah, what is this? Oh my! No, I jumped into the water. The cold water. Do I shoot this? Oh, I do. I think it's healing. Or we could just ignore it, maybe. Ignore, ignore. Oh, where am I? Oh. Yes, okay. I thought it would be easier. Hey, you don't look like a space pirate. Of course you're not. Did I? Oh, I just got it all mixed up. But my transmitter got a signal from here. Now it's absolutely irretrievable destroyed. Wait, irretrievably destroyed. How do I get it back now? Is it just... Stuck here now? What, what's, what's happening? But anyways, let's open up our treasure bag now. Armored red patch. First blow 
Deals double damage to your foes. Wow. Okay. <coughs> We've got a skull heart. What does this do? We can make a diamond ship. Stone of inspiration. Used to upgrade and combine weapons and equipment. Okay, I think that's what we need first. And for weapon wise, we got the messenger. Right click to fire a marking arrow. Marked enemies take more damage from any source. Oh, it's a cooldown. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's make our demonite bars. Oops. Oh! It's gone now. Okay. Alright, let's make the Stone of Inspiration. Okay, I'm not really sure what this does. Um, but we'll leave it here for now. And then later on, we'll see if, uh, if there are some items that can be used with this thing. Also, I realized, since this doesn't really go away after I use it, couldn't I just farm this thing for money? I could, right? But anyways, this is going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the Terraria Split Let's Play video, hit the thumbs up, comment down below. And uh, yeah, also subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more episode 2 next time. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace.